Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio. I get a lot of questions about how to figure out which customers that have been, have been contacted inside of your CRM system and which ones haven't and when they were contacted, which is a really good question. So as a salesperson, I want to make sure that I interact with my customers on a regular basis and then contact those with whom I haven't spoken uh, whenever I have the time. So if we look at an account inside of Dynamics, I'll just go to ABC Skiing Jams, for example. You can actually see the activity behind an account by going to the Activities tab. So let's click here on Activities, and then I could see historically what has gone on with this customer. So that's nice and good, but I'd actually have to go through this list of activities and find where the latest time I had a phone call, which would be today, or a last appointment, which would be on the 5th, um, or phone, you know, other types of interactions or activities in here, which can be cumbersome and tedious and isn't really quick and handy. So luckily here at Quantaserum, we've developed an add-on that actually creates a last activity um, field inside of the system and keeps track of those activities that we have with our customers or those interactions. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, I actually have that add-on installed. And what it does is it actually memorializes the last activity, so that's the last overall activity, whether that was a phone call, an email, a task, or appointment inside of the system, and puts that as the last activity date on this account. It also then, on a granular level, I could say when was the last phone call, the last task, last appointment, or last email. And so I'm easily able to see that information at the account level. Well, the nice thing is I also can see this information on views. So let's take a look at my accounts view. And I've actually added these columns from our add-on to the accounts view. And you can see here that I have ABC skiing jams with a last activity date, last phone call, and last task date listed. This way I could sort through my records inside of my view. I could take the ones that were older than a certain date, for example, in an advanced find, and then target those. We could also use these values for marketing purposes. So our marketing team might want to reach out to those with which we haven't had a phone call or interaction in a year, let's say, and then try to get them to engage in more business with us. So hopefully this is a um, good add-on for you. If you'd like more information on it, just contact us or click the link. Join me next time for more information on Dynamics 365.